double checking that everything is working. Double checking that everything is working. Okay, we Gucci. Turn that off to make sure we don't get any reverb. But yeah, no, we are we're doing it. Um, just to spend uh, about like half an hour with um, Basum Buffoon, figuring out how to do all this business. Uh, learned learned a lot. That's a uh, really good stuff. Uh, one step closer to being a real boy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of streaming for uh, like maybe two hours or so um, for it because I have to go pick up my wife after work and my boy but uh yeah that's that's the plan here Just sending out the tweet, the notification to everybody that it is live. But um, yeah, no, I should be able to follow things a lot better now. I have the stream live stuff set up. Um, so I'm excited about this and a little bit less um, wonkiness as we saw in some of the previous streams. So that's all good. I'm very happy about it. Things are looking better. Um, I think that I'm going to play some Skycrag because there was a sick deck that um, Lights Out Ace was sharing. Actually, let's start off by doing just some Xenon Reanimator, bring this one back that we were doing the other day. Uh, and this is, I think, it'll be a good place to start. Looks like I'm cut off a little bit at the top here. I might rearrange that after this game. I'm just noticing it right now. So, hmm, a bit strange. Uh, what do I think with this hand? Uh, it seems fine. Not great, but it's good enough. You can get my pop filter up on this bad boy too, so on my on my microphone. Um, basically just looking for power or broken shit. Um, that counts and for both of those things, kind of. I do really want to grab the grass mage shadows for this if I can. So this, it's gonna be um, Chairman, Sporefolk. Uh, ooh, okay. Decent start, we're doing it. Anything fun? Uh, yeah, that, that qualifies. That qualifies quite, quite well. So they're just on this FJS deck that, of course, everybody knows and loves. Good old-fashioned, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think I'm just going to play this because I want to find more power. Hey, it's more power. It's a very good power for this deck as well. Especially with this kind of a draw. Yeah, they had to shit the show, of course. Boring's that happening there. Mm, two power, not exactly exciting. Attack. Um, I think that I am going to exchange Ion because it's just not high impact enough. Um, I am really considering just cutting Ion from the deck entirely because he just seems a little bit too low impact for me. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hi, everybody who's was here, by the way. I'm, I'm very happy to uh, to see you all. Let me know if you're in chat. I'm very, very excited to, to chat with anybody who's around. Desperately searching for, like, a discard spell, maybe? 
Like, obviously, there's not a lot of stuff that you can pull from here that's, like, great in the situation, because, I mean, what what beats Vara into a Zindel, right? Oof. Tough hit. This... I'm going to do this to try and force them to harsh rule because the problem with keeping all of this stuff up right now is that if I do a Zindel them, like, they are in a huge deal of trouble because I'm just going to draw, like, five cards. Now, they do technically have the possibility to um, do this and then hold up um, the display of ambition. I really want them to play out something like a merchant right here. Doubt that they're going to. Could they, they could just play a removal spell. Oh, that's great. This is perfect for me. I'm very, very happy with this. Because I'm going to get to draw, like, five cards. I guess they're just conceding that they can't really beat that. So Grasping at Shadows. Vara. Azindel. Sporefolk. Good shit. Good shit. Yep, yeah, just concede. Okay, I'm going to change the business at the top of the screen, kind of shift things down a little bit. Uh oh, That should be better. Oh, it's still like cut off. Weird. Um... Okay. Oh, I know why I was doing that. Solutions to the questions that I had. All solved. All solved. Um, is it showing the fact that I'm in an Eternal game? Because I'm not seeing that there. I want to make sure that that is actually active. Uh, yeah, Eternal. It's showing up. We're good. Okay. And I would love it if you are in chat, like to, to chat or whatever, just so that I can see that uh, I, everything is working. I'm still working on all my settings, etc. And so this is a nice little um, little test for my Streamlabs setup. Uh, that that is definitely one of the things that I am <laughs> least confident of right now. Do another game of this, then we're gonna go to Sky Craig because I forgot this time. Not enough power. Especially on the draw. Uh, sure. Uh, not great. I definitely want something to prime the void. Like, I think that Spore Folk, etc., would be great for right here. Um, but this is good enough for a seven card hand. Uh, th this is just such a good combo, especially if I do have the. Uh, if I do find some business. Uh, that's a decent draw. Uh, given the fact that this is Sky Crag, um, I think that it doesn't really matter here yet. It's just, it, technically, it's better to kill this if it's Kennedon's. I just don't have any reason to believe that it is right now. Or they could also be playing something like Mirror Image in their deck, in which case it's better to kill the Grendered in Drone. Usually against Sky Crag, it is better to kill the Grendered in Drones. Um, if given the option, uh, compared to some, uh, the, 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 just the Gratidans themselves, but it's just close enough here that I just don't really care. Uh, and I, like, if they could have been, um, the, like, some version of Haunted Highway that was, that just happened to have really good power in their opening hand. So, given that, I felt like this would be the better way to, to play it, um, just on that. Because it's very rare that it's going to matter that I kill that I kill this. Like it comes up in just like a few corner case games of like that you're mirror imaging um, a grenade and drum. So I don't know whether I'm against an aggro deck or a um or, or the Kennedy's deck yet. I haven't figured that out. I think that I want. I'm pretty sure I want this. I'm going to 
I want to do this while there's no power up. I'm just concerned about having um, this hit by a torch, and that kind of sucks. Uh, this hopefully will eat a permafrost, uh, this all, which would help to clear the way for, for Vara. Um, they, they could... Okay, so they are against... I am against the Canadian's deck. Which is fine. I generally don't like making this kind of play, just like a tempo, like assembly line. Who are you really impressing with this? So... Well, I think I'm going to keep both of these guys back. Um, the two damage doesn't really matter. I just don't have enough pressure right now. I mean, the, the unfortunate thing here is that I just don't have very much pressure. Um, she is probably getting copied, if I had to guess. Because that, like, that's pretty obvious. Sacrifice most of the time. So there, there's a really good chance that it, I just get end of hostility right here, which is annoying. Yep. Yep. Now, they still trade, obviously, which is good. No. And so, like, like these, these both can trade. Hmm. I mean, these are both pretty similar. Let's do this. I'm kind of insulated from Kenna at the very least, which is nice. I mean, like, because both of these are, are deadly, she can't just, like, come down be, um, and be in and eat one of them. This is going to be tough, though. I definitely need to set up something pretty gross in order for this game to be tolerable. Because right now I'm like I'm going to have a hard time breaking through this. I probably should be just attacking for 2 damage. I would have had like 6 damage in already. That, that matters. Playing a little bit too cautiously. They're really just spewing off these, these Grenadines, which I don't know. I I'm not a big fan of that. Like, pfft. seed power, really? I don't know. Like, they're a valuable resource. This is an easy, easy block, by the way. Just absolutely, incredibly trivial. Because I I would almost rather have this in the void. So I actually want them to attack in with here, and then I uh, surprise it. I I, sab I um, ambush it because getting this off the table means that they don't have any of the the grenadines left, and there's kind of like this impetus to want to like attack with it. Then I uh, sacrifice it, get your power, so you get that extra point of damage in. So if they're greedy like that, then um, I can punish them. But we'll have to see. Okay, so they're not going to be greedy. Uh, I was thinking I could play this out and then do that because like my issue was that if I just play him out then attack here he's not going to kill this uh, but I had to draw exactly Varus favor so that feels bad if I can keep this up so if they do find a way to kill this like they had they um, gun down plus torch Which is what they do. Would have liked to have that sigil, but you know, you do what you gotta do. <sighs> Poor 
part doesn't feel good. Going to get hit with that gun down. Yep. Uh, that's a bingo. That's a bingo. What do I got in here? Eh, I got some cool stuff. I'm gonna keep him just as a thing to trigger again with Vara if she happens to live. New, yeah, the unknown is doing his dangerous thing. So good. Thank you for testing that. And and oh, so it does show up there. I I see it. It's just absolutely tiny. Uh, I think I can live with them copying this. That that's fine. Um. Yeah, let's just do this. Pressure them to sacrifice some more of these. I mean, I've, I'm not excited about her being void then. It would have been kind of nice to have some options to recur her again through different means. But uh, yeah, no, this is decent. And you just the settings, though. I think that it was a little bit too short of a time that your comment was up there. Oh, got that. Got that mirror image. It's going to be really hard to kill these Varas. Um, definitely not blocking with her. Like, that's no chance. No chance. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely really small. Um, but I'm going to certainly block here in order to gain a bunch of life. Um, there's no chance of them having, like, a Molot Nakova, uh, which doesn't really do a ton. Sure, permafrost. You got it, friendo. Um, let's start off here. Vara. Lesser sting wasp. No way saying it. I thought that it was up. Okay, well, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. That sounds right. Um, attack here. Sure, sure. My really, I maybe go to save this in order to kill the cable that's coming next turn. Do I really care? No. This is, that's a show. Yeah, I... I thought that I had it set up. Apparently I don't. I will check that out for next time. Make sure that I got that operational. But it was lovely to see, it's lovely to see you here. You, me, and your best friend, long time uh, supporter of the RNG stream, especially. Uh, I, I know that you um, helped out there a lot, which is always really nice. There's just not a lot of tools for them to kill Vara. I guess you could play the... Uh, oh, yeah, heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, definitely enjoy setting up uh, this stream. Anybody who, of course, is watching and wants to uh, do a test follow, really appreciate that as well. Um, yeah, yeah, the RNG cast as uh, the, the Eternal cast. Uh, the Eternal cast hasn't been active as much recently because uh, what's his name? The uh, <laughs> Rhino is um, hasn't been as active as much. This, by the way, is kind of great for me because I love the idea of being able to sacrifice this. Um, and I'm going to sacrifice, um, this, sure. I could also sacrifice this too, but I like the idea of sacrificing those ones to begin with. Yeah, I'm probably going to shift things so that uh, there's a little bit more content that, um, people can participate in, uh, there that I can, I can do without just Rhino being around. Um, so in that case, uh, it'll, it'll be more active, which is, which is nice. Oh, he sacrificed that Caleb, by the way. I just realized that, which is, I'm very happy about. 
it's gonna be really hard for them to to grind through all of this especially once they're copying Vara's because like Vara's being copied is I think much better for me than it is for him I mean sure they're at like a million life but as long as this Vara is on the table like they can't do anything and even when she isn't on the table then I can just grasp her back I mean, maybe they go for, like, this, like, weird thing where they, they then are able to end up hostilities. Whoa! Okay. Um, I did not know that this was an element of the game. I have not seen people play him in Canadens. I'm probably fine with this. Like, I mean, it'll take a while for him to kill shit. Uh, void bound, yeah. Um, what do I have in my void right now? This also, by the way, a little bit of a mini combo with the void bound thing because if you like, she gets larger, you know, from coming back and stuff. But she's void bound, which means it's hard to get rid of her, um, or to get to bring her back. But Ion silences her, so um, undoes that element of the card. I'm gonna attack here. Face. No reason to attack, uh, do anything else. No more show. Yeah. Yeah, no, that... I'm thinking, about, like, I have an opportunity right now to do a lot more content related stuff, at least for the little bit next little while before I get a job. So I am, I'm really, like, I'm thinking a lot about what that's going to look like. Um, so I, I'm definitely interested in any sort of uh, feedback and questions uh, and uh, ideas of, of where to go from here based on everything. Ooh, baby. Ooh. Um, so, hmm. I think that he is going to attack here and kill this, which is fine by me. Um, it's just like, I guess I can do some combination of like triple activate on her and then plus torch. Once again, that's fine because I can bring it back. I don't even have a merchant in the void yet, which is such a, which is really annoying. I'm just going to keep on attacking. As I'm winning the race. I think. Sure. I'm going to do this for now. I'm happy to block here, by the way. Get her in the void, bring her back. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be um... Like, I think that my th thing right now is that it's just, it's clear that Rhino doesn't have as much time to devote to Zernal Cast and our schedules don't line up in the way they used to. So it's going to be hard to, to do it with the same regularity that we did before, uh, in the same way that we did before. So I think that what we'll probably do is a little bit more of a mix of, like, interview stuff or maybe have, like, another regular co-host or something like this on for the, the show. Um, because I love doing podcasts. Like, podcasting is kind of like my... Okay, so she he is doing the um, five. Okay, so we're going to play a, a site and then kill Vara that way, which is fine by me. Now, the thing that I don't like is the the mirror image that's coming next turn on, on Kyphus. That's the only thing that I'm scared of. Well, it does not solve that problem. Uh, 
let's just go with this. It's good to see you back, though, you, me, and your best friends. It, it, it reminds me of good old times seeing you around. Um, it's been a while. Um, move uh, back uh, to the game. Uh, the same time, both be sure, filthy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this this is the the one from that. It made some minor changes, nothing too big. What did it get? Uh, revenge, unblockable, war cry, endurance, overwhelm, reckless. Okay, so um, all things considered, it could be a lot worse. I can't really kill it um, with any. Uh, ability, unless they don't have like his, at least they don't have uh, something like the double attack one. But yeah, I, I made some like like really minor changes. Like I cha I removed the Azindel that was in the market. I can attack with her now too, which is cool. Ooh. Okay. Oh, void down. That's annoying. If I play him out, he definitely, like the two Halisi, got blocked by him. I'm gonna do this because this brings this back here, uh, and I really only need to have Vara in, in in one Vara in play, so this clears things up a little bit. Um, Vara, I really should have. Oh no, she's void bound still, so that's fine. Yeah. As I mentioned, it's gonna have a really hard time battling through all of this business. Like, I just have so much material. Still, like, he's doing a good job. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm just not. I'm not not sweating this. Like, there, there are still problems here that I'm, I'm having to solve in these at still 38 health. But, I mean, Azindel does a lot of work. Take a lot. 16. Okay, so he's killing Ion. He's void bound. See if they play anything. I really don't want them to play assembly line. Oh, geez. That's tempting in some ways, but I think that I'm going to restrain myself. I'm going to... do this. Attack here because my purpose here is i just want to draw some cards yeah tana block will does add up eventually for sure um but i just like i have to uh, like it, it's not the fact that it's not like killing me immediately is very good because uh, i mean obviously it's scary but the fact that i'm starting at such a high life total means that it's not that bad okay so i gain a little bit of life um draw a couple cards that doesn't do very much for me. Let's do a draw two. Oh, that's cool.
That's a cool one. Not dead is better than dead, correct. Hard agree. Let's we'll just get this on, into play. They get their Caleb. They have a handful of nonsense. Bad shit can happen here, friends. Bad shit can happen. They still have 16 in the air. It's gonna be hard for them to kill me this turn, but it's also not impossible. They could play another one of these, copy the, uh, another Kyphus, because then they could just get charged double damage or something like this. Like, charge double damage, uh, berserk. And that's really bad. Interesting to note that they're still playing the Ixen Merchants. Uh, a lot of people have moved away from Ixen Merchant to the Howling Peak Merchant Merchant. Treasure Trove. The ordering there is definitely wrong. I don't know exactly what's going on in their hand, but there's no way that that's correct. He says it's a target now. That's cool. That's annoying. Uh, this is one of the ones that I was, I was really hoping would survive. Because that maximizes my chance of surviving. I think I might get a combusted or a obliterated here or... Yeah, okay. That's possible too. Okay, well that was a good game. At the very least. Very good game at the very least. Mm. Let's go for that Skycrag deck I was talking about earlier. Let's see... Yeah. This is Spellcrag Reborn, courtesy of Lights Out Ace. <laughs> this is an interesting build of the deck. I don't think that I've, I, I'm all about this. Adding a single Sunfresh Animist into the Zine deck, uh, just a, a board cell. Yeah, I feel like that you need something like that in, in this, like some tool to kind of break out of that, because... Uh, they, they definitely do go over the top of me um, for it, which is, is hard to do. The Kyphus was pretty good. I mean, Kyphus getting unblockable um, was one of the big things that uh, made the game difficult. So I'm not sure. Definitely, it, it feels weird to have Vara active for so long and um, still lose. But, I mean, I don't think that the deck is built properly. Like, the Ions have been kind of terrible. Um, there's not high impact enough. So let's go... Let's jam some spell crags. Old favorite. Okay, let's just take a look at the composition of the deck. Because I haven't looked at this very carefully. And this is one that I... Um, it, it's pretty useful to, to know what it does. This is a pretty aggro version of the deck. Stun an enemy unit. Build a snow fort. Um, do you want to build a snowman? Renowned. Do I have any renowned enablers? Uh, oh, Levitate, of course. I don't know, Kevin. Uh, Pyre and Elemental, like, this is just... Not... not go for so you can see it. Uh, oh, you can... can I, I'm, I'm blocking it. That's very kind of me. I will move it quite here so you can take a look. Mm, I'll probably adjust myself when I get into the actual game because I think the, the bottom left is better for, in general for face positioning. Or top right could work as well, I guess. Signal flare, come on boys, we can do better than signal flare, right? I can kind of get behind this. This seems decent. I don't know. I'm, we're gonna we're gonna do it, but I'm not gonna like it. I mean, yeah, it hits sights, I guess. Ugh. I mean, I would kind of rather have it just in the the market if that's what we we need it for. Um, and then because it just two damage. Not fast speed. Ugh. Like, the card is obviously not heinous. I don't even... 
Maybe that's not even right. I do not know. I think that we need more pump spells in this deck, to be honest. Because the, just the, like, the softwood burglars are just not going to do enough, I don't think. You, you really need to get them. Yeah, the burglars, I think, are going to be better than they look. Um, they look horrible, though. So that's not that realistic of a standard. Okay, so I can do this on turn three if you've played a spell. I thought for some reason it was two spells, but a spell is, is not that bad. And I'm against an aggro deck, hypothetically. No, I'm not. Um, could still be aggro, I guess. Oh, Jesus, what's going on here? Well, signal flare, it's your time to shine, I think. You did it, buddy. Um, um, no, I'm going to put this bim. Yeah, Pyre Elemental, I, I don't know, this is, like, I have played my fair share of Skycrag. This deck has problems with card quality. <laughs> This this is this is a deck that uh, ha has some issues. Um, I don't know why there's like these big black bars on the sides of my screen. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm just gonna play. What do I have like that? I think I'm going to keep her for now. I'm not sure what I want. Let's play out the body, yes. And then let's call it a proof of concept. Yeah. Uh, test. Yeah. Softwood Burglar. Oh, God. Like, it's just Levitate, basically, right? That's in this deck? I mean, sure, this technically counts, but... Yay, I got a two-drop and a treasure trove. Not, not exactly exciting shit. Meanwhile, my opponent has done nothing functionally. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I've, I've seen versions of this kind of deck numerous times in the past. Every single time, it just looks awful. It looks so bad. This doesn't do anything right now. I think I just have to get an unstable form. I mean, I think so. You mean your best friend? That that's that's what I've been I've been told. I don't know why, but that's that's what's happening. I'm attacking here. This one's so hard. Like, I don't know how long this game is gonna go. It's really hard for me to guess. Does it play Vivara? Yeah, let's just do this. Like, I like I like Feasty Boy. I like my Feasty Boy, so let's just bring him out to play. Let's see what happens. Yep. Take six. I'm just going to adjust some things. Mm 
Yeah, I think that that's that's roughly correct. We we just have no we have no tools right now to really um, go super aggro. They seem confused, by the way, too, at the very least. Like they, it feels like they don't understand what's going on, or or not confident at least as to what's going on. Now this does like if I find any good spell for next turn things can get turned on pretty hard like i find a torch i go torch you know like keep this back to block torch it um play the pyro elemental attack with everything like that's all pretty cool uh i'm winning the race which is an important part of the equation here torch one time uh it's not a torch it's a good card though don't get me wrong I think I want to keep this guy back. Obviously, the timing here could be better on this. Would have preferred a, a little, a little bit different of, of an ordering here. It's uh, I think I'm going to. What do I do in response? I, I can this or this. Sure, let's do this. They have another thing? It seems like it's gotta be a combat trick, right? Sure. You're still taking a lot of damage. Sure. Um. You can't see the cursor? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't understand why. <laughs> That's really random. Okay. I think I'm gonna do this. I just don't want to have a lifesteal unit like hanging around on the board. God, I want it. Spell that kills this. Just give me a friggin' torch. Come on. I know I play them in the deck. No hey, torrential downpour. That works. Let's just do this. Yeah, sure. Oh, I got—I heard a bling. And where did it come from? Oh, creeping death. Hello, hello. How are you doing, my friend? I have not talked a lord. I have not played the FBS Cradle deck. Uh, this is my first game on this stick. We're going to be probably streaming for about another hour, so I can get a chance to do the FPS stack next. They've had enough. They've had enough. They don't... They, it still feels like they didn't really understand what was going on all game long, but they lost anyway. Uh, found out you're streaming. Yeah, no, I, I just started doing some of this, this business. I'm still learning about it. Uh, apparently, um, people can't see my cursor. Uh, <laughs> no idea what's, what's going on with it. Why can't you see the cursor? I'm just like totally confused by that. Uh, you've been playing the Oni aggro deck. Uh, has it been doing better for you than it was for me? OBS, sources, settings, scroll down, click, capture, cursor. You, me, and your best friend, you just know what's going on. I will do that during the next game, I think. Let's go with Spellcrack. Because I tried, like, one or two games with the Oni Agro deck, and it just shit its pants. Uh, and I was like, oh, God. Uh, okay, this is up already. It's kind of annoying. I'll do that in, later then, while we're in the middle of this. 
Well, if I was a control deck, I would keep this, but that's not what we're doing here. This seems good enough. It's it's weird, but uh, I mean, we got got our good friend the Softfoot Burglar and the Signal Flare to constructed all stars on the play. Uh, if I do get the, the banner, though, by the way, this is sick. Like that's great, but went four zero with it. Fuck yeah, I love it. Very nice. Uh, sure. This seems fine. I'm going to do this. I also, I get three damage in, which is cool. And I do cash in the, yeah, I, I get to finally get the, the treasure trove, which is, which is cool. Buff my shit up. Don't have a torch. The stick's great. <laughs> this is everything I want to do. Just uh, tempo people out. This is going to kill you that. Get an extra damage in. Game's over. Um... I think I'm actually not going to... Oh my god. Put that in the bottom. I do this for... The extra damage? Is it really worth it? I'm just being aggro here, right? Like, this, this is too... This is not... Responsible. But, you know, let's do it. <laughs> we we came here for uh for some beatdown related action, so I like let's not get ourselves as to what's going on. They need to have an Aegis threat in order to, to survive. Um probably. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Oh baby. Like they're gonna they're gonna have a hard time surviving this. They're just so low. Um, do I have any like burn in the market? I do not. I think that this should be playing Maul. Am I crazy? Maul seems good here. And like like in a Howling Peak merchant market, especially. Maul does cost six. I'm fine with that. You got a problem with costing six? This will be the my champion is very, very likely to get through. I mean, he's just such a good finisher. I mean, I guess the the meta is like super aggro. So, now, it's worth noting, I think we do, I'll literally do a similar job. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that it's, you're, you're probably right that it would be better to just go with Obliterate um, in this deck. You just have different roles that you're trying to, to, to do, so it's not like you're just like all out aggress aggression and you're not going to be able to get up to there um, as fast as possible. And it's just also the, the metagame is not that controlling. Maul is best when you have stuff like the um, FJS deck that are just sitting around with giant hands. Uh, yeah, we're doing it. Andy Gray, this is... This is um, BK. Member of the Dire Wolf digital team. I will be his Huckleberry. Very important points to make to all of the Dire Wolf digital employees. Show dominance. Explain to them your role relative to theirs, which is I will be your Huckleberry. 
Play a blocker. I fucking dare you. <laughs> uh, we're doing it. This is this is what I, I came here for. Yeah, yeah. You tell him that. I, I, I hard agree. Mm. Oh. What's that? Oh. Apparently, Fire Elemental is a, is a card. Um, no, what did they even discard? I didn't even check. Oh. Oh, Pitfall Trap. Oh, okay. That is a um, card that is, that is legal to play. We're doing this. Yeah, no, I'm I'm feeling it. I'm I'm I am feeling this. Uh this this is the kind of eternal that I like to play. Just Yeah, man. Fucking dark return it. I'm here for that. You got a 4/4. Four, four. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> that was a satisfying game. Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Just just clean. That game was so clean. I love it. I love it. One of these days I'll get around to capturing my my thing. Uh, so what did you say? Go to OBS sources settings. Scroll down. Apparently I have a hand. This one looks bad. Yeah, sending it back. Still have a chance to. Ooh, ooh, oh. Okay, we're just gonna. We're just gonna. <laughs> this 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 hand is uh. The, the, this game is um the downside of of the deck. This is this is the the negative component of uh, of it. As, you know, sometimes you run hot, and sometimes. Take back, maybe taking everything back. Yep, yep. I hope that they block. I really do. No, no such luck. Oh, this is. Yep, yep. Yeah, this is just not worth it. This one's this one's That one's a lost card. It's okay. Let's do one more spell cry before going back to uh, going and doing the, the Cradle deck. I mean, I'm looking forward to doing the Cradle deck. Don't get me wrong. I, I really want to do all of them. I want to play all the decks at once. That would be sweet. Multi-queuing. Mm. I can do better than this. Can I? We're gonna do it because I think that that six hard hand last game turn taught me a lesson, which is that this deck does not mulligan well. I'm hoping that they play a two drop. Not really what I had in mind. Sure. 
That allows me to play him, levitate, higher elemental. Decent, decent. I mean, this is still a lot lighter than what I would like to get started playing. Like, I mean, they started playing on turn two, I started playing on turn four. I mean, what are you talking about? A car quality constructed staples. Look at this. Choo choo for one. The bros. Obviously. That's what this card does. You know, I'm gonna two cost four three for with charge. It's better than Champion of Fury. Easier to cast, too. No, oh, that's definitely a card I can beat. One thousand percent. Kind of hurts, but I think this is what we're doing here. At least I can still play this for two next turn. Sure. Please don't have a good unit. Oh. How do I win? Oh. Yeah, let's just go. Thank goodness. Oh, that buffs it too. No, why? No! But it's in their void. I care about that a lot. Just the fact that I can't attack into this and just like suicide shit is so annoying. Oh my god. Hmm. Gaining three more life. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, I'm not winning this game. Am I? I mean, we're going to do this. See what happens. Scare just pops this Aegis. I just need to get damage in. I guess with another... Um, like a fact that can get this, that like another levitate, then um, I can finish it off. Like this nine, maybe I just need another obliterate. Honestly, I mean, if I win this, this will be quite sick. I I will be very very happy if I win this. Seems unlikely. Once again, I got started on turn like four. Like, was my first play. My objective is to live. They have more cards in hand than I do. By a good deal. Strategize is a good card for them to draw.
they draw any burn from me, then he's dead. They could also draw, like, I'm sure they play, like, Banish or whatever in their deck as well. So I am not optimistic, but it's technically possible that I'm not dead. But, I mean, like, let's be real here. I guess that this could also be enough, like, plus six plus that, no, it's not. It's definitely not. Levitate plus Torch plus Torch? No Levitate. I think that I'm just... No, like, I mean, it's just we're so close to done the game at this point that I'm just going to... Like, you're just going to block here. So I don't, I don't think there's a point to attacking. Kill an attachment. Sweet. And that does it. Especially with that plus three life. I think this is, this deck has a lot of potential. I think that it, it, it's not quite right. Um, I'm not sure what I need to change, though. Pyre Elemental has definitely been better than I expected. Chung Chung was good the one time we drew him. Two drops have been kind of problem. Because the Fearless Yeti is not good. I haven't drawn him yet, but... Maybe that's a problem. I mean, I feel like I need more one drops for sure because it's just like the early game is a little bit too disconnected Cal master finally it's your time well think about it let's go play the FJ stick for a bit lose some ranks with that and then uh, come back to the spell crag. I mean, I guess this is what I'm signing up for. Two. This is actually a lot of fire sigils. I probably should have. It's fine. Let's keep this. I'm going to keep the second Seek Power in hand so that it triggers uh, this. Seeing a one drop with Aegis is very uh, not what I want to see. Let's go here. We're going to go this. Try to spook them into maybe having a Hailstorm, which I obviously don't. Cradle, my plan for for next turn is to Howling Peak Smuggler trade the Howling Peak probably and then get the uh, Hurler and then Snowball her. That's fine. Oh, please. Hailstorm one time. No dice. Neither of these have Berserk, right? Yeah. Well, I'm obviously sending him back instead. How many spells are we up to? One. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course it's one. Snap block this all the day in case that's not clear. Just unbelievably snap block it. Seven half. Uh, I'm still not happy with my life total. It's not a very high life total. Um, Jesus. 
I think that I should have... I'm already feeling like I really should have the, the downpour in my market. It's a, such a good card right now. Quarry. I really just want a... Hailstorm. I do get to play three spells next turn. So that gives me my dragon. That's cool. Okay, so this one, this one, uh, let's do this. And so I get a surprise dragon for blocking. Which is very good. Doesn't change the fact that I'm like dead, but you know, we can't have it all. Two is on a very high life total. About time, friend. About time. go here first. You can have life and dragons. That would be unfair, yeah. Unfair to the rest of the world. Need to just clean that up. And let's trade you back for um, this seems... Sure. I mean, I'm probably just dead. So, like, this is fine. Like, I expect to, to be dead? Yeah. They could have had that. Uh, they could have had double permafrost. I'm going to change it already. I'm just going to put the um, downpour into the market. What do I want to cut? I think I'm fine on power, honestly. This deck is a lot of card draw. <laughs> I, I love. I hope that this deck is is decent, but I, I doubt it. Like I told people that in the article, it was like, yeah, this is more a pet deck than it is a good deck. But uh, you know, so I at least didn't you know give anybody some false impressions as to what was going on here. Uh, is in cool blood even hitting anything right now? Um, no. I like to always start my decks when I post them, like, just, like, literally verbatim. I know that that card is a lot worse than it was, you know, two days ago, 48 hours ago. Um, I kind of lost one of the C. Hopefully this isn't the, um, Kamado deck. That's one that I'm sp spooked by. Um, no, I don't need this. What am I thinking about? I have these two seek powers. Oh, thank God we don't get hit by fucking, what's her name? Teacher. Yeah, I'll give both our Annihilate and a... Rindra's choice, nice, nice balance there. Find the way, gotcha, gotcha. Now I just want card draw. That counts. I could have easily just played this out, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Well, I don't need that much power. 
So we're just going to do this. Once again, I, I'm not really like interested in holding these cards up for anything that's like spooky or whatever. Feels like this is going to be the Kamado deck. Um, not happy about that. At least I have access to a boar. Mm. Let's take some of these. Getting some pings on Discord. Is there anything interesting going on, or just people talking in my Discords? You can add, you can join my Discord by the way. There's a link below for that. Uh, I think it's just Reckoner complaining about something. Yeah, yeah, it is. As is tradition. You're ramping a whole lot there, friend. I feel like getting them off of pit would be nice. This is a good example of when uh, nerfs matter as well, because this technically does close my options off somewhat for what I can what I can do with this. Okay, I'm just gonna go here, gun down this guy. I am expecting to have to Howling Peak here next time because I, I technically could have just shot one of these guys and left up the 3-5, probably not that big of a deal though. Okay, well they just have tons of power. So this does suggest they don't have any of the big and power relics, either the chains or the, um, Hit. I guess they could be doing it to set up the the marshal. I like also the extra health here. That's pretty cool. It means that okay, so they're gonna full out attack on this, as one might expect. I'm going to kill the that guy uh obviously i was pretty happy with how my peak did right there maybe not even obviously but just playing all their power of their deck i'm kind of i'm finding their play odd hoping to find a torch nope I like having access to two of these. I don't think I'm going to need two copies of Rinder's Choice. That seems pretty unlikely. Let's go channel. I just want more cards. I really want more cards. Sure. Ooh. What I like to see. Yep. Let's do this one. Power. I'm just given that I'm just gonna keep this up in case there is something before it's to hit. I find it unlikely. Yeah, cradle would be sick. I would I would buy a cradle right now. This almost killing that is great. They've given up. They've given up. Um, this is what happens when that deck does not find a relic that does anything. They just kind of sit there and uh, twiddle their thumbs. It wouldn't be able to beat the relic too, which is which is sick. Um, like even if they had done something like play the relic and then get a couple of power even out, I, I, or at least one power out, um, I could have definitely beaten that. Obviously, that's the one that plays both Pit and the Martyr's Chains. You guys haven't seen that yet, but yeah, it's like a big Combray deck. Ugh. 
Oh, good point, good point. I will do that. Where, where do you guys like the, um, the face cam the most? Top right? Stop right good? How's that? Sure. We'll go with it. We'll run it. Middle left to middle right or over the totem? Over the totem works. I don't know. If you have a preference, like... I could do a vote, but, you know, it's a little bit silly to, to, to vote over it. Don't have the sloth card back. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess, it, like, the, the only time that this is bad is when I have, like, I'm doing deck building stuff. Um, let's just do it here for now. Get myself right and center. I am obviously, at this point... Uh, don't know whether they're controlling or like a um, combo or something like this. Uh, I don't think I need this much power, but I'm holding these things until I have my cradle up to prime that. Okay, so they're not control. Which is fine. We can we can do this. Decrease the size slightly. Yeah, I can do that. Two. Shakedown. Oh, at least I didn't get my um, my cradle. Uh, they did get with the quarry though. The quarry I would have preferred over strategize here. Other side uh, for scout reasons. Advice other side for scout reasons. Okay. Um. Here. Not good at playing this deck. Uh, I mean, this deck is definitely a bit strange of a of a number so it, it takes a little while to get used to it you you really have to be very disciplined um i think in order for it to work and you also have to be a little bit lucky that you don't have uh totally horrible matchups because if you get really bad matchups with really really, really bad draws you are d dead i think um this was wrong i'm going to be playing the Wisdom of the Elders here. I think I'm going to also... Uh, playing up the... Shadow is wrong. Because I probably should just strategize that. To the bottom. You get a... Dragon here. Which is cool. Okay, well, this does protect against um, feeding time, which could be relevant. Sure. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. Um, I gotta just do this, right? This is this is gonna hurt. Oh man. Thanks for stopping by. You mean your best friend? I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I would definitely appreciate the support as I'm just getting started with all of this. I was learning a lot, so um, appreciate all of that. I'm just okay. So one two three one two three. I think I had extra power. I could wipe them so one two plus no i wouldn't wipe them it would just kill her but as it is i i am pretty toast because they can just kill whatever i i play xd 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 i agree agree entirely Yeah, let's just concede. 
I think I'm just a. You know, I have the tools right here for for this. If I had the annihilate for the uh, Vara that they were doing that savage play on, that would have been sick. But that's not a yeah a deadly overwhelmed killer. That's a really rough combo. So I mean, I think it's a real, it seems like a cool deck, but it definitely the fact that I tapped out there made it really hard to to win the game. But you know, kind of do what you got to do. I didn't really understand when they were playing, which was a problem. We're going to keep this and uh, not be happy about it, but it works. Also, of course, happy to have everybody here. i um, planning to do a lot more streaming, especially depending on like the amount of you know, support and stuff that, that I get. It makes a big difference to me. Like I'm kind of really looking to build up the, the, the stream. So um, just I, I, I'm very interested to get the sense of how many people are interested in it. So one of the best ways for you to do that is, of course, to follow if you are liking what you're seeing. Rinde's Choice, why not? It is a card that costs less than, you know, four. So I, I, I'm happy to have that out. Um, but uh, but yeah, like, so if you press that follow button, it'll make a big difference for me. Um, making decisions as to, like, how much I'm going to do this going forward. But just also, I'm very happy to have you here. You know, you don't you don't need to do that for for me to appreciate you. I, I appreciate you just as an individual. I'm gonna keep this up in case something weird happens. For now, this is definitely overly cautious. Um, oh man, Don Walker, it's been a while. I mean, got that for it, which is obviously sweet, but still, it's been. It's been a long time. Howling Peak, sure? Yeah. Not at its best, but it'll it'll play. Hoping that they play multi-faction fatty here. Uh, I don't think that there's very much. I guess that they could be holding up for... Oof. Uh, I think that I'm just going to play the Feast Caller. Uh, if they do uh, Xena Initiation, kill it. Uh, when they're bringing it back, I can then feeding time the the leftovers. I'm not enjoying all of this slow speed removal. That's not, that hasn't been great so far. Hey, that's good. I can killing, I can feeding time plus torch and attack. That's something. I had no idea what they're getting here. It's written right here. Yeah, I can't do it on this. I need to just clear these off. Attack in. You know, obviously, I would rather do this when I have the cradle out, but that's not what is going on right now. Yeah, it's cool. So they do have these you know, initiation for a follow-up turn. Uh, I have this now. If they're they're probably going to be playing like they're getting close to a Zindel mana, which I'm not a fan of. I know that this f is kind of bad, but I am going to do this attack heater um, just because I want to be able to keep up my torch in case they do have that. Um, okay, that, that's good. So what this means now is that I can play this out and play the cold arm cradle. So if they do have the Xena initiation, I can still shut it down with the, the torch because having him die to the Xena initiation would be so bad. So, I mean, this is exactly what I'm talking about here, right? Inner initiation, torch it down. Not only do they not get to kill it, but they just don't even get the killer on the the, the Dawnwalker. So it's a, that's actually a really big deal. Having the, the render's choice for an Azimbil, by the way, is is going to be good because it means I can also kill it in, at fast speed. Like he comes in, they attack with everything, and then I kill it so they don't draw any cards. So that's all. 
a uh, pretty big part of the picture. Also, I mean, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I am still really interested in getting any sort of feedback of what you're seeing on the stream too. I'm still really learning as to what's going on with this. This is like my you know, third stream or something like this. Uh, so please let me know if there's anything that you think is uh, could use some improvement. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna make some changes to the room to try and like decrease the amount of echo. I don't have my pot filter here today because I'm very stupid. Um, I have that somewhere else in the house. I'll probably set that up for the next time I do it. Hey friend, why uh, don't you have the waystone? Um, I tried Mozilla. It didn't work for me for the first time. I don't know why. Uh, I will. I will definitely do that for the future, though. My opponent has decided to time out. I kind of want to kill this because. Um, they're, they're going to scare him. I guess I'm just going to just do this. No, that's fine. You have Echo now. I have Echo now. See, this is what happens sometimes, and I have no idea why. They just, like, randomly, the sound settings just change themselves, and it's, like, all, all echoey. Could not explain as to what the reasoning is. But hello, Kamado. How are you? Enjoying the new uh, the new game. <laughs> and, well, I, I saw that you uh, playing a bunch of Combray. Anything else that you've been playing that's um, fun and interesting? Man, what if I had Echo? What if what if I you drew an extra copy of me whenever I was drawn? That would be sick. We're just doing this. Uh, my opponent has AFK'd because they are the game is not going well for them. I can draw eight cards next turn. This is something I'm excited about. This is some of the most feast calling I've done in a game. This is this is a lot of feast calling. Uh, they're gonna concede now. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah, I've been trying stuff. Nothing good so far. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot to try, right? I'm going to try and draw eight cards. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Discard two to hand size. Maybe their plan is that I deck. Maybe that's what they're they're hoping for now. Send this back. Um, get this. Play this. Send this back. Get this. Whatever. Yeah, Chainbray looks interesting. Like, when you played it against me, it felt really powerful. But I imagine that there are some games that you just don't really get to operate on time. Yeah, I got a dragon. But did I? Well, I got a dragon now. Could have drawn an extra 10, but, you know, don't need to get carried away. Um, I, like, burn them all a decent amount. Uh, it's just a card that's been good for me. Uh, I don't know whether that's just... Oh, hi, Almost, by the way. I, just, I recognize you right now. I'm going to actually just move my chat down a little bit because I'm noticing that it's positioned badly. Um, I like the idea of this being not quite on the wall. Hi. Yeah. Um, I mean, I... 
I'm kind of a sucker for it. I, I'm, I know that I am, what well, the face cam on your own stream, but too good uh, for the voice. No, I just got it. I just got it for the streaming. Like this is well, like, I just started doing the streaming business as, as like you were, be, although by like, by the way, this is Bassoon Buffoon, who's of course, I'm sure many of you know, Bassoon, who is now following a very nice to have you following the stream. Um, he was helping me out a lot, teaching me, you know, how incompetent I was with streaming related stuff this morning. I really appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, no, I, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, no, um, I, I literally just bought it like two days ago. So I, uh, just, just starting with, with the face cam, getting used to it, getting used to showing off my face. Um, we're going to go with this. Um, the fact that I have the chance to just kind of kill an aggro deck for free means that it's, it's attractive and it doesn't, it's also decent against controlling decks. See, like, this is just like kind of all I needed in order to not be, you know, really fucked. Um, I'm okay on that front. Probably in my even more in the future. Oh god, that's that's a bad color combination for me because most versions of that just go over the top of whatever it is that I'm doing. I I just don't even know what's really going on here. I heard a I heard a bubbling. I heard it, so we got another follower. I feel we got a lot of big names in the chat. I appreciate that. Uh, almost thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Hearing another one. Coming up right now. Uh, platinum, playing for Platinum. Appreciate that as well. But yeah, as I said, like I, I'm still figuring out what I'm doing with the the streaming, um, you know, life. Oh, I don't have a second shadow. That's a problem. Um, this, I think, is a long shot to be a tier one deck. This is, is the, I think, that the easy way to put it. I'm kind of tempted to keep this, because they do seem like a mid-rangey deck, and I can probably set up a double hailstorm sometime down the line. Like, I don't mind taking a little bit of damage from this Vara, right? Like, it, this is just not a kind of card that can be, um, top tier, I, I just don't feel like it's so easy to, to counter it. You're so reliant on it building value in a lot of games. So, yeah. Um, I suppose they could have marketed for a disenchant. Don't need that. Um, I'm going to just do this to play it safe. Given the fact that they... Um, marketed uh, again just kind of makes me anxious i don't know then maybe that's just uh any concern for dealing with a bore with this deck i mean i just lose to it that's my strategy against the card <laughs> to put it plain and simple i feel like they're just struggling with the the manas let's go with gun down on this guy Oh, Banish on here. Okay, sure. I mean, they could be a reanimator deck. Uh, it's hard for me to tell um, so far. It's just like they haven't done anything. I do like the idea of playing a deck with eight merchants, though, if you're going to go that way. Jesus. Calm down, mister. Okay, so this plus downpour is. I don't. Um. Okay, so that's it's a total of eight of uh no a total of seven that's perfect. Okay, so here. Play this. This. Downpour. Probably should have done this first. Um, I just kind of want to do it this way to, cause it feels fancy. Um, I also just want to do it before they, 
Oh no, this is a spell. Why did I think that this was a fast speed? That's really dumb of me. That was just that was just a full-on pun. I don't, I don't know why I thought that this was a fast speed card. I just haven't played this very much. I should have done. I should have dug for or something else. Rip my peaks. Yeah, no, that, I I deserve that. Definitely don't need the third one. Um, sure. Yeah, no, that was just blatant stupidity. I should have done this, I think. I'm just, th th the reels are coming off now. Just messing up on mess ups. Mm, I can beat that card. Not with this nonsense, but you know. I deserve this. I deserve all of this. If they play another one of these, I'm just going to double Hailstorm. Yeah, I played this game horribly. Played this game real bad. Ooh, that's a good card. <laughs> I don't know, BB. I feel like your your fuck ups are sometimes a little bit a little bit worse than that. Yeah, I just get killed. Oh, draw a relic. I'm I'm really wondering what it's gonna be. I could not guess. What would it be? <laughs> I can see BB keeping a notebook. That that would be fun. Mask. Okay. Doesn't seem exciting at this point in the game. I don't know why I keep up playing a power when I have a channel of tempest in my. Um, like, I guess I need at least this much in order to play plus that crown. Yeah, I was thinking it might be crown because it's like this is what these people do. Threatened. Yeah, you got a three three B. Fuck me up. I'm actually gonna die to this goddamn B. <laughs> oh no, I deserve it. I deserve it. Well, they're gonna scheme, of course. Yeah, like, when in doubt and I see a turn me into a pig. Yeah, no, I like that idea, too. Um, I'm not even going to annihilate him yet. Now I'm going to. I'm just going to play this in order to get deeper, deeper into my deck, because I obviously want... I can't keep this. I need I need card draw. I need, I need some business. I'm dead. Ah! I played it so badly. Why did I do that? I played it so badly. Okay, I, I deserve the, every bit of that. I should also read what my cards do. Yeah, this is fine. I'm going to have a hard time against an aggro deck, but I think that as long as it's not a good aggro deck with a good draw... Um, I guess I could also have just, like, the out of drawing a Hailstorm always, which is cool. Might be an aggro deck. Um, given that they don't have a fast start on me just yet, I am interested in playing out the Cradle. Ankle Cutter, that's a higher Adept. It's not really that essentially have the cradle out. It's kind of just like a win condition that, you know, is like it doesn't need to be operational immediately. I guess in, in this kind of matchup, I like the idea of just getting it as soon as possible so that I can hopefully ambush something. 
like partway through the game. Torch? Not a torch. It's not a torch that I'm not interested in. I'm going to keep the Annihilate in case they choose to buff this lady up. Yeah, they're going for it. Take three. Hailstorm? Um, yeah, that was a greedy play. Not that greedy. I mean, I guess it's kind of just right, because I was going to kill one no matter what, like which one. They just, like, lost some damage, I guess, functionally. Um, I, like... Definitely not happy with this. I probably should have just uh, played that first. Where am I on with this? Peak Snake's turn is decent. That's a good card. Hoping to get a um, depleted power, of course. What on earth do they have in their hand, though? That's... Either they have mono power... Okay, I mean, I guess it's just mono power plus burn? So, like, this is definitely correct. They have at least some amount of burn in hand. But, like, two power, two burn spells, I'm still probably dead. They're afraid of Hailstorm. That's possible, too. How are we doing on this guy? Ooh, four. That's a good number. Attack me. Okay, so since I'm not dead, I'm honestly in really good shape. You're able to be firmer frosted. Yeah, I, I just realized that because of this, then it was going to come up first. How many spells can I play? Like three tops. But you can mirror. I could mirror it. I no, I couldn't mirror it. But then, um, oh, you can mirror it afterwards. Yeah, okay. And given the fact that I can't kill this, I'm I'm still just in a ton of trouble. I'm gonna play this out on the assumption that if they play a champ that I can run just choice plus torch it. I mean I render choice I render choice the, the, the that and then I torch this. Well I'm not dead to torch, which they clearly have, or they they seem to have. So there's that. So, mirror image. That is spell number three. Let's go here. I am going to bore this. I don't have any counter spells in my um, market, which is unfortunate. Yeah, boring off the permafrost is what I thought. Uh, I mean, it would have been cool if I could double bore in order to really pump this guy up, but, you know, do what you gotta do. At least I'm not dead, unless they draw another burn spell. 
seems like that that's like their the road to victory now. I'm really tempted to just activate him. Because I need to end the game. Yeah, I think I'm like going to opt for ending the game more now. Maybe we should get up one of them back in order to play around levitate. I'm still going to keep this for at least for one more turn to play around uh, a champion. Because I think I'm just going to win next turn. Oh my god! Oh, oh that hurts! Damn. Ah, that's fine. It's fine. Good game. This game, this deck is going okay, all things considered. I, I, I was kind of thinking that it would just kind of suck, but it's it's honestly been fine. Um, this game's pretty good. Brutal. I heard, I heard the bubbling. I heard the bubbling. Who who is it? Who is it this time? Now following by Aimless Polymath, thank you so much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. As I've mentioned already, I'm still like really th thinking, um, I, I actually wanted to be here. I'd <laughs> love, love to have you here. You meet your best friend. Um, uh, you better be following too. If you're not, then you're missing out. I'm definitely keeping... I guess that Torch isn't that good if I have Hailstorm. Uh, so... You've been following this channel for a long time. And just, just on, the, on the off chance that one day I did start uh, actually... streaming. I don't really need face ages right now. I can I can get like a boar or something like that later if they do have a Zindel's gift. If they are a long time, if they are a uh, playing the the gift. Yeah. Okay. So they are on a control deck. So I am worried about gift, but I, I think that's still a little ways away. They just knew the stream was inevitable. You saw it in the distant future. Yeah. I mean, I I think that it was kind of inevitable too. Another another follow from uh, Prof Monkeys, uh, very much appreciated. Really in cargo. I wonder if they're actually on the time uh, on a time deck. So I'm gonna actually hold this for a bit um, because I like the idea of being able to um, face each of myself closer to the turn of the gift. Uh, definitely happy to send this back. I mean, obviously I could have set up something like a double hailstorm turn uh, for the future, but I'm kind of happy to just get higher value cards that are, are more reliable because I could just keep this out for a pretty long time before I have to do anything, before, before they play out something else because this is just like a nice little bit of, of pressure. I'm not playing any, I'm just gonna do this. Doesn't actually really matter that much. Burn them all seems pretty good here. I could also go for channel. Both of these are pretty good. Do you have, would you have a? I'll take the first suggestion in chat between these two, channel or burn. I don't. I don't know.
video on you guys. Channel. We're doing it. Sounds good. They haven't gotten a merchant yet, so that makes me feel like I might want to hold in the Cobalt Waystone. There is an outside chance that they just are playing it main deck like a Savage, but I, I feel like that's not very likely. Um, okay, well, they didn't do anything either, so um, I'm almost positive that play was wrong from them. Like, it's really hard to imagine that that was the correct thing to do, but I like the idea of killing it before they can get out the the Aegis on that guy. Rindra's Choice. Uh, definitely handles any other further champs that is going to be played. Lucy Gift got a loose card. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm actually not all that worried about Gift um, here because I mean, especially between this. Okay, so like now they finally have this, so there's a good chance that they have the Gift now. Um, but let's do let's do this. Getting it annihilated? Yeah, sure. Take four. Yeah, sure. Resolves. Resolves. Um, so it's one, two, plus three, six. Okay, so in that case... I am going to Wisdom. Oh, this actually works out pretty well. I'm going to attack here. Play this. This is like, in some respects, meant as a bit of a diversion. Because basically next turn I'll be able to probably... Um, I'll, I'll be able to win pretty soon with just channel. Like, um, so if I get, for instance, the Kaelic's Choice off of this, then that's, uh, then that's a win. But I basically, I just need like a couple more points of damage, obviously. Yep, yep. They're all attacking me. Um, well, I think I just have lethal. So, yeah. Yeah, lethal with Caleb's. So now I have Caleb's. It deals four damage. Or three damage, rather. I could have also just gunned down here, too. That also works. Like, there's, like, multiple lethals here. Almost didn't click there. I'm very good at this game. <laughs> clicking properly clicking mechanics executed well very nice this deck is doing much better than I thought if I especially didn't fuck up that game that I lost like just by playing like a slob I think that I would be a very favored um, record right now I think that that's going to do it though for today um, I do have to uh, go pick up my family from work and from the daycare. But thank you so much for joining me. Of course, to uh, remember to uh, follow if you don't already. Uh, I've been really enjoying doing these streams. I, I'm kind of still determining, as I mentioned before, how much streaming I'm going to be doing in the future and the amount of support that I'm getting from you guys is going to make a really big difference into kind of determining that. I've been happy with the people who have been showing up so far. And uh, let people know also if you've been enjoying the stream. So... There's that as well. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I've um, been, been enjoying doing this. But I'll talk to you all again soon.